Kenny G Panda here. So today is Whatchamacallit Wednesday. I know I did not post the last week. That is because I am currently not feeling well. Um, so just decided to uh, film something for you guys this week uh, just to continue with this series. So today what I have for you is I have the Jet Boil Flux Ring Frying Pan. Uh, this frying pan was a recent purchase of mine. I got this frying pan and as you can see here I've used it quite a few times um, because when I am cooking most of the time my stove meals consist of like rice and tuna. But recently I've been experimenting with using a frying pan and more for luxury reasons so I can make other food choices while on the trail. So with this frying pan, uh, there's a couple things that I like about it. So first off is it has a plate that hooks right on to the frying pan on the bottom. This plate comes off. Um, it does clip on to the frying pan uh, real easy. It might not seem like it's durable when it's clipped on, but it actually is. I was able to hike with this hooked on to my backpack just swaying along. Um, climbing over rocks, climbing over bushes, going through trees, and the plate held on um, and, and didn't come off at all. Uh, so this does secure onto the frying pan nicely. So it's nice that it's attached there for you. Um, so you always have a plate that's accessible when you're using the frying pan and making whatever you're making. So with the frying pan, a couple things. So first off is um, there are arms that do bend out. So these arms bend out. Uh, they kind of intertwine with one another. That makes a nice handle for the frying pan. Um, underneath the frying pan is the flux, the flux ring. So the flux ring makes it so it's able to dispense heat a little more sufficiently um, rather than uh, not having these coils, your heat's just going to focus primarily in the center um, and anything more towards the end it might uh, burn basically. Um, I don't feel a need for the flux ring. Um, this frying pan comes in a couple different um, versions and the flux ring to me doesn't seem like something that's absolutely needed for what you're making. Um, with the type of stove that I have or the jet boil stove. Either way, the heat dispenses relatively fine in my end. So I haven't seen a real reason as to why I would need that flux ring. So you can actually save some money and by just getting a regular frying pan. This frying pan is lightweight though, um, which is really nice. So even though it does have that added ring that's on it, um, it is super lightweight. It's like 10 ounces, 200 and I think 80 grams. Um, it's very like easy to just throw around. It, it basically feels like it's not even on my pack. It's like like a paperweight <laughs> type of frying pan, which is one of the reasons why I bought it is because it's not heavy. So it is titanium, um, which is really nice to have. So as you can see here, I've used it um, a few times and it is stained. The stain is actually not from the jet boil, it's because I've actually been putting this frying pan in the fire. So you can actually put this frying pan in the fire, you will get it stained, but it'll still work fine. And another thing that I liked about this frying pan is you do not have to use the jet boil stove kit in order to use this pan. I use the jet boil stove kit and my MSR stove kit with this frying pan and received both um, effects when cooking. I've cooked eggs in here utilizing both stoves. I've cooked pancakes in here utilizing both stoves and both um, stoves gave me the same results in the end. So you can either choose a, a less expensive stove or choose the jet boil stove to go with the jet boil frying pan and either way you're gonna get the cooking ability regardless that the flux ring is there. Um, Another thing about this frying pan is, again, its cost. So the cost of this frying pan with the flux ring on it um, is $49.95. So it is quite pricey for this frying pan. Um, there, Like I said, are other ones that are out there that are less pricey that don't have the flux ring. 
Um, so depending on your price range, you may want to look into those. Another thing is this frying pan heats up really quick. I mean, regardless if you have the flux ring pan or a different pan that doesn't have the flux ring, um, when you're using this type of pan series on top of a cookware, like a propane tank, um, it heats up simultaneously like in seconds. Um, so you're definitely not going to want to leave your food sit there too long. Um, you don't want to take your eyes off of your food when it's in the frying pan. You're going to want to consistently keep moving the food around and cooking it. Um, I found that pancakes and eggs and chicken and other things that I've made in this pan that if you leave your eye off of it just for a few seconds, it burns, it gets stuck to the pan, and it takes a lot of effort to clean it um, from the pan once you're done with it. So that is something to keep in mind. I've tried oil, I've tried butter, I've tried Pam, um, every which way to get this pan a little more slicker so stuff won't stick to it. Everything sticks to it in the matter of seconds. So you definitely want to make sure that you're cautious when you're cooking in this type of pan over a fire, any type of uh, fire, because things will burn relatively quicker than your stove at home. Um, but other than that, this pan has been wonderful. I, I don't really have any complaints for it. It is one of my best purchases that I've made. Um, I use it more for car camping, but I have taken it backpacking because, again, it's so lightweight that it doesn't really impact my pack weight at all. Um, so if you are looking for a durable frying pan, you may want to look into the Jet Boil um, frying pan series. I mean, uh, there's the ones with the flux ring, like I said, or ones without it. So depending on your price range, um, there's a couple different ones out there for you. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions about this frying pan, uh, you can leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And as always, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can see other content that I put out. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye!